Hello, everyone. Obviously, a slow day today. Uh, yeah. I, see, I see there's only Vi and I uh, <laughs> trading today. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. So anyway. Well, you... I, actually, very erratic day and uh, no surprise because that's exactly what happens during rollover. So yeah. yeah. Now, I remember last week you said uh, you're not going to trade until uh, until this thing is over. And yeah, I did the same. Basically, today, no trade. Uh, I'm just watching uh, this thing going up and down. So <clears throat> we have a few tickers for, for later, <clears throat> but maybe we go through the usual ones. Uh, so SP SPY, QQQ, etc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, you will be the only one who will know the ranges for SPY, but okay, let's start. Uh, so, uh, SPY, uh, obviously a bullish trend. Uh, it uh, almost touched uh, end of day regular range high and uh, pulled back. So, re real time ranges are 568.6. To 539, 568.6 to 539. And uh, longer term range is 592 to 513.6, 592, 513.6. Uh, if you are interested about trend, uh, it will still remain bullish all the way down to 444, something like that. So we have. Uh, a very uh, strong uh, bullish tr trend on that. So yeah, and the uh, longer term range uh, is way wider. So we have way more upside and way way more downside compared to the regular term range. Uh, now I'm preparing uh, QQQ. So the first one was Pi, in case you the people who joined uh, during uh, Vice talking. Yeah, you will be able to listen to the beginning of the recording if you uh, need a spy. Okay, so uh, QQQ, I'm ready with QQQ. Uh, well, regarding trend, uh, technically uh, bullish, but uh, not enough. It's uh, almost at the neutral area, so keep that in mind. And I was talking about that for uh, ov over a month that uh, Tech is way, way weaker uh, compared to uh, the SPY. And actually, when it comes to futures, even new December contract is uh, way below the crucial level of 19747 now. And on Friday, we will get a new level. We will see where September uh, contract expires. But for now, 747 is the one uh, we are working with as a re reference point. Okay, QQQ. So regular term range is 435 to 411. 435 to. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. S -s sorry, forget that. 484 to 446. 484, 446. And a longer term range is 509 to 415. 509. 415. So as you can see, we have uh, both uh, plenty of upside and plenty of uh, downside on the longer term range. And the uh, regular term range upside is, is almost non-existent. So yeah, uh, keep keep that in mind compared to the downside. I mean. uh, now, uh, as I said, we are close to neutral area. So so if it uh, continues a little, uh, just a little bit uh, down. Uh, it will turn neutral. Okay. Uh, I how about uh, IWM? I saw that it switched uh, to bullish trend. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, IWM is the next one. I, I have a list of most important ones. So yeah, IWM. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's bullish trend uh, since uh, Friday, I believe. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, so today it uh, literally. Uh, tried to trade at the top end of the end of day regular range and then failed so almost the same situation as with uh, the spy uh, but uh, real time ranges are so a uh, regular range 222 207 so 222 207 
uh, longer term range is 241.5 to 197.5 so 241.5 197.5 so again uh basically on a regular term basis upside non-existent but uh, longer term range is very wide so plenty of upside and plenty of downside uh, regarding uh, trend yeah uh, so as rafael already mentioned uh, it uh, turned bullish and uh, it will stay bullish unless it goes uh, below 216 something like that if it goes below 216 be ready for it to turn neutral uh okay uh d diamonds dia yeah this one is nice uh, as it was for a at least a week it's nice uh, uh, it made a, a new uh all-time high uh, everything looked uh, nice but uh, yeah of course today we have a, a small pullback uh, because a lot of contracts need to roll at least in the US, but it affects all major uh, indices. Uh, same situation, uh, almost touched end of day, top of the range, and then bounce back. Uh, we have lower highs in the regular range. So worth mentioning that real time uh, range is may top end is may making lower highs. Uh, so yeah, range is 420.6. 404.5, 420.6, uh, On a longer term basis, we have 433 and 20 to 389. So 433.2 and 389 is the longer term range. So uh, this one actually looks uh, slightly better uh, because even though longer term range is uh, still wide, but uh, but 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 uh, upside is smaller than downside. Uh, so so uh, be very very careful because uh, it's uh, definitely not a good not a good sign. So uh, regarding uh, trend, uh, basically we have uh, almost three percent for it to go down and until it uh, becomes neutral if nothing changes. So. 405 would be level to watch uh, from a from a bullish neutral perspective okay uh, now rafael's uh, beloved uh, gold believe i don't know how gold is trading i never touched that so so yeah uh, gold of course uh, no surprise that it's a strong bullish trend uh, making highs even though today and yesterday we had some attempts to uh, correct itself but uh, anyway uh, on a regular term basis uh, upside downside ratio is bad uh, no surprise after such a big move uh, model uh, ex expects some correction but uh, longer term range will uh, be very fav favorable for bulls i'm sure so uh, regular term range is 240.6 to 232.5 240.6, uh, Now the longer term range is all the way to 248.5 to 225.3. So 248.5 to 225.3. And yeah, it, it will remain bullish uh, till uh, basically 227-ish, something like that. So yeah, uh, yeah. Longer term uh, perspective is uh, is good, but uh, on the regular term basis, it's uh, quite oversold. Just uh, keep 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 that in mind. It's quite of a bottom, mean. Yeah, it's almost at the top of a range. Yeah, of a bottom. Yeah, oh, you said oh, of a I th sorry, sorry about about that. Yes, yes, correct. Uh, <laughs> no, it's definitely not oversold. Okay. Uh, uh, quick, uh, quick point. Quick point. Uh, by the way, on gold. So I mentioned in the show uh, last week that I was watching um, a certain level for my daily volatility trade to get to for an Nordic sum. So uh, for JC, uh, so gold futures. So it uh, got there uh, today. So uh, I see that gold is uh, red today. I'm not surprised. I hope you sold some uh, when you saw that. 
just a quick note. Yeah. Uh, okay, now I will prepare you. So uh, also one thing to note that uh, CL oil futures today rolled to X contract, so to November uh, contract. Uh, so today new contract became a front month. Uh, so, of course, uh, knowing how USO works, uh, that it's using uh, derivatives, um, uh, it's an uh, important thing to note for those who are trading USO. Uh, okay, so, uh, bearish, no surprise. Uh, uh, it's uh, relatively close to becoming neutral, but not there yet. Uh, if you are so trades at uh, approximately $73, it will be the area to watch. Uh, now ranges, 73.3 uh, to 64.8, 73.3 to 64.8 is the regular term range. So uh, of course you will see that upside downside uh, ratio is definitely uh, in favor of uh, bears, so you can add those two together. Bearish trend and terrible upside downside ratio is good for bears. Uh, yeah, so now uh, you will notice that um, downside is capped. It means regular term and uh, longer term downside is the same. 64.8 is the downside, but uh, model says that on a longer term basis, we have 77.8 as an upside. Again, uh, even that doesn't make uh, upside downside ratio favorable, so keep that in mind. Uh, first of all, never fight the trend. Uh, second of all, both up upside downside ratios are not in favor of bulls. Yeah, uh, good one. Uh, TLT, now I will do TLT. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, went to the moon. Uh, very strong bullish trend. Uh, it will remain bullish uh, e e even if it e if it falls close to ninety five, uh, below ninety five. Oh, only then ninety six, ninety five would be the area to watch from trend perspective. But but yeah, uh, regular term ranges hundred and three, so one zero three to ninety eight point five. So 103 to 98.5. Uh, longer term range uh, is wide, uh, knowing uh, that it's a fixed income asset actually very wide. So yeah, TLT longer term range is 106.6 to 95.4. 106.6 to 95.4. But again, uh, everything, uh, uh, market tells the story, and that sto story disagrees with uh, most of the narratives on fit FinTwit. So trade what you see, not what you read, because uh, I know that now is a very popular thing to talk bad things about bonds. So, okay, uh, what's next? Did I miss something from important tickers? Uh, let's go to I don't know maybe VIX and uh, and UUP. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'll start with UUP. I'll start with UUP. Uh -huh. USD index fund bearish, uh, even though upside downside is uh, favorable, but it's far away from. Uh, the even neutral area so yeah strong bearish trend it will remain uh, bearish all the way to 28.5 ish uh, so keep that in mind uh, now uh, the ranges are 28.5 to 20 even 28.5 to 20 even and uh, on a longer term ranges upside is almost capped so you will notice that the difference between uh, high of the uh, regular and high of uh, longer term is almost the same. So I said 28.5 on a longer term basis, it's 28.55. So, so basically the same. And the longer uh, term downside is to 27.60. Yeah, so regular is 28.5 to 28 even and uh, 28.55 to 27.60. We have a strong bearish trend. Vic, so now I will go to cash index. Uh, not futures, not some, just the index itself. 
Okay. Uh, I mean, it, it's a bearish trend. Of course, that uh, August uh, spike uh, uh, skewed things a little, but uh, it's VIX. We all know how it be behaves and that things like that just happen. So, of course, uh, bearish trend. Uh, now the ranges are regular term ranges 23.6 to 15.2 23.6 to 15.2 and on a longer term basis yeah it's scary uh, as always uh almost always i mean it's for 35.4 to 5 well vix will not go to 5 but it just warns you that that uh, situation is like this that it's very 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 uh, volatile so uh, longer term free free 5.5 5 to 5 bucks uh, five index points or whatever so uh when using uh, ranges on things like vix uh knowing that uh, it's uh, not a tradable asset by itself uh, if we don't count options and futures and so on uh what you need to focus on when watching this model on things like this is the upside downside ratio obviously uh, not the actual value because i'm sure i will not be very wrong uh, saying that it's uh, not likely that vix will go to five <laughs> yeah okay so what's next a yeah, quick side note also sorry <clears throat> regarding cl so i mentioned in the show last week also that the target for the bounce would be uh, between 71 and 72 so we are there if you play the counter trend bounce, uh, that was a good place to, to unload. And um, let's say you, you are betting on a longer um, bounce. The big test will be around 73. Okay, so if I'm watching CL as well. Uh, if uh, we don't get a sell off, uh, watch the reaction of CL at 73. Uh, if it uh, holds and use it as a to to. To prepare for another leg up, uh, we are going to 78. So just a side note again. Uh, let's go to silver because I have a long in this one. I'd like to know the, the range. Uh, yeah, be before that, I will just give a very, very quick update on CL futures, uh, especially knowing the fact that a uh, roll happened. So yes. uh, uh, the the level to watch for for um, trend uh, to be not bearish anymore, which is now strongly bearish, uh, would be seventy three point four. Seventy three point four would be the level to watch for uh, for it becoming neutral again. Uh, neutral doesn't mean bullish, so don't do uh, don't uh, make these mistakes. But a uh, regular term range would be uh 64 64 to 73 64 to 73 so uh we will we see that uh we have plenty of downside on a regular term range yeah so uh and the uh, downside is capped downside is capped so keep that in mind but but still uh both models to tell that uh upside downside ratio is definitely not for bulls Okay, silver. So, which uh, asset you want, SLV or? No, yeah, go to SLV. I think it's uh, the one uh, uh, most people yeah, yeah, yeah. portray. Of course, yes, correct. SLV, uh, SLV. We had a nice gap. Uh, that gap is unfilled, and uh, and yeah. Uh, so, because of that gap, uh, silver is uh, bullish. Can deny that. A uh, model always counts these uh, things because uh, I, I know that some people ignore gaps. Uh, I, I think that gaps are very, very important. Uh, okay, so it's bullish and the ranges are. Uh, so 28.9 to 25.7, 28.9 to 5.7. And on a longer term basis, we have a wider range. Uh, so longer term upside is above 30 so it's 30.10 30.10 and the downside is 23.7 23.7 um let's go to bitcoin and ethereum okay uh yeah so for bitcoin i will use spot bitcoin uh, from 
Binance just because of liquidity and volume. So, but uh, arbitrage, we all know that arbitrage opportunities are not there. So, you, usually it doesn't matter which one you watch, but uh, I prefer most liquid exchanges. Uh, okay, uh, still neutral trend, but uh, very close to becoming bullish and really close. Uh, knowing how Bitcoin moves, it's less than 1,000 for Bitcoin to become uh bullish and i mean 1000 can sound like a lot but we all know that for bitcoin is it's just like that bam and that's it uh so uh no good news on a regular term basis because we are basically at the top of the end of day range and the real time range even though it's making higher highs but uh upside is not there so you will notice that now bitcoin is trading at 60500 ish and uh, the upside is uh, 63,000. 63,000 is the upside and 55,000 is the downside on a regular term basis. I'm rounding things up because uh, because it changes all the time, especially on Bitcoin. So 63 to 55. Uh, on a longer term basis, uh, 68 to 47 and a half. 68,000 to 47 and a half. Uh, you said uh, Ethereum, yeah? Yes, Ethereum. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's go to, to Ethereum spot. Yeah, okay, I have it. Uh, oh, yeah, this one is very bearish, very far away from any significant levels. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Ethereum is trading at 2350. 2350 and uh, it will remain bearish um, all the way to uh, 2750 so 400 points even if it goes uh, 400 bucks uh, it will still be at best neutral now uh, same situation on a regular term basis uh, upside downside ratio is not favorable uh, for bulls, even though we, we have some upside, but uh, anyway, downside is bigger. So, uh, regular term, 2,500 to 2,100. 2,500 to 2,100. And on a longer term basis, 2,750, so 2,750 and uh, 1,700. Yeah, 2,750 and 1,700. Yeah, another side note again, uh, why I didn't buy the, the mega buy I got on the buy the deep script on Bitcoin is because Ethereum didn't trigger. And if you have access to the buy the deep script that uh, I share on my profile, so voila de voila, you can check Ethereum. Ethereum didn't trigger and you can see the backtest from previous signal. So uh, if you want to buy Bitcoin, uh, check Ethereum. Uh, Raphael, you are trading these uh, things, uh, so maybe you know, maybe you checked correlation be 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 between Bitcoin and Ethereum. No, yeah, I'm I not can I can check it. I can I sure. can check it. Uh, I mean, it will take a couple of minutes, so better I will tweet after the show because actually it's very interesting. I have never looked oh. at it also, but uh yeah i will tweet the correlation uh bitcoin to if um, after the show uh just for those who are interested be be why uh, why i'm uh, doing that because actually uh your point is good but actually i need uh, to check if it uh, is important because i i think that bitcoin is uh, quite uh, independent and uh, this uh Correlation number will uh, show, of course, if it's true or not, because it's interesting because I never checked on that also. But I I don't know if they are really heavily correlated because just from a quick look uh, at the chart, it's not. So we'll see. Okay, what's next? Uh, we can do some stocks and then we can do to the, go to the um, first uh, the questions from uh, the people uh, listening and then to the tickers people sent. So let's go sure. quickly over like maybe Apple, NVDA, Amazon. Uh, okay. Good. Apple, uh, first Apple, NVIDIA, um, Amazon. Okay, so I'll start with Apple. Uh, neutral. Uh, yeah, neutral. Uh, people uh, 
didn't like the latest news as i see but yeah a neutral trend uh if it has another decent down day it will become bearish but uh, like i said a decent down day not just slightly and um, because it will become bearish at 213 ish something like that uh, okay uh ranges uh two two hundred twenty one point four two hundred ten point six so two two one point four two one zero point six and longer term basis is very wide uh, so probabilities uh, skewed are skewed to both sides uh, so 240.5 and 195 so 240.5 and uh, 195 uh, now nvidia nvidia again neutral uh, neutral trend uh, four days ago it uh, touched uh, uh, exactly the level where it would uh, become bullish if it continues but it reversed immediately so yeah now now uh, in the middle of a neutral area so strong let's call it strongly neutral which is not a term but, but um, okay so one 124.7 and uh, 96 so 124.7 and 96 and on a longer term basis uh, no surprise uh, plenty of everything upside is uh, to all the way to 141 and downside 87 even so 141 and 87 amazon okay now i'll go to amazon uh, this one is bullish it had a nice uh, correction and uh, pullback yeah so uh, bullish and uh, what we have ranges are still loading but i see that it will remain bullish all the way to 180 so yeah uh, like three and a half percent away from not being being bullish uh, ranges 194 to 176 194 176 uh, longer term range is 250 to 200.5 and 150 bucks so it's very wide and the uh, downside is bigger on both models uh, even though very different but upside downside ratio is uh, way below one uh, because longer term, term model says that the downside is 250 keep that in mind what else okay so um we have um, ranges uh, being asked by hendrik uh, jc and ragav if anyone from the who, are who is listening now has some ranges to ask uh, i can give the mic first and then we can go to the list that was sent to us uh, by uh, by message so if you want to ask right now some ranges uh, request to speak we'll give you the mic if not, I'm going to go uh, with the list uh, sent to us by uh, messages. So and while, while and while we are waiting for people, uh, uh, PLTR. Yeah, just give me uh, one ticker and I'll start. Okay, sure, sure. I thought we were, you were going to talk about PLTR. Okay. I mean, if no, actually, I mean, uh, you know me. Asked. Somebody asked. Oh, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Raga okay. asked for PLTR. Okay. PLTR. Yeah. So uh, upside target is 500. Uh, I'm joking, but uh, you know every joke has uh, some truth in it. So no, uh, MFR is not saying that upside is 500. It's by saying that it's 500. Okay. So jokes aside, uh, bullish, uh, very bullish. Uh, uh, 40.1 let's call it 40 dollars is a regular term upside per 32.5 is the downside so 40 dollars upside 32.5 is the downside on the longer term ranges 42.3 to 27 so 42.3 to 27 is the longer term range okay now ragav ask another one uh, cvna okay yeah i know what it is 
He's got two more. Then we have Hendrik. Gordon, wait. Yeah, let's do one by one. So, Carvana. I believe, I don't know what it is. I've heard that it's some car vending machine, something like that. Um, okay. Uh, bullish trend, uh, decent uh, bullish trend. Uh, it will remain bullish all the way to 100 and below 140 so plenty uh, so we had a quite quite a nice run uh not not surprised because before that volatility was uh narrow so no surprise that now it's overbought on a regular term basis so basically uh both yesterday and uh, today uh it touched and uh, even broke uh, end of day regular term ranges uh, now, real-time model also shows no, uh, almost no upside on a regular term, just because it's being overbought. So, so regular term range is 158.3, and keep in mind that this stock is trading at $155, so not a lot of upside. 158.3, and downside is to 127.4. 158 127.4. Uh, on a longer term basis, on the other hand, the uh, situation is uh, very different. We have uh, we have uh, basically capped downside also 127, uh, but upside is all the way to 181. 181 is the upside on the longer term range, and downside is the same as 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 the regular term. Yeah, quick side note again uh, regarding cap. So cap means. Uh, cap to the downside, so normal uh, lower range equal longer term lower range. Cap to the upside, uh, top of the normal range equal top of the long term range. Um, let's go to, uh, before coming back to Ragav tickers, I see that JC is here and he asked uh, a ticker. So F E R, F E R. uh ferrovial fer okay ferrovial okay yes uh interesting ticker i can see that uh we have some uh very high volume action uh, some time ago um i always love love to see that especially when the stock is higher after such a big selling action so it's it's usually not a bad thing uh bullish yeah so the stock is bullish it will remain bullish uh, all the way uh, below 41 dollars so 41 dollars would be the level to watch uh now uh of course it had quite a decent run so no surprise that on a regular term basis it's uh, quite overbought uh, but you will be if you are long the stock you will be very happy to hear the longer term range uh, so yeah regular term range is 43.3 to 41.4, 43.341.4. So as you can see, that upside downside ratio is is literally not there. We have just a little bit of upside uh, and a lot of downside on the regular term, but uh, but uh, on a longer term uh, basis, upside is above 46 dollars, 46.15, and downside is like 39. So. 39 to 46. Okay, another one from Hendrik. Uh, I N F U. I N F U. Okay. Info system holdings. Okay. Yeah, uh, neutral trend. Uh, neutral trend. Uh, quite a spiky stock. Uh, so both uh, neutral uh, areas and uh, ranges are very wide uh, of course it's low dollar nominal value stock so when it moves it moves we all know how it goes interesting okay so as i said neutral trend upside downside ratio is not for bulls definitely not even though uh, it may sound like it has plenty of upside on regular t t uh, term basis but compared to downside it's not not good so yeah uh stock is trading now at six dollars 37 cents 
and the regular term upside uh, is six hundred. Uh, sorry, six dollars eighty four, six eight four, and the downside is five six four. So five dollars sixty four cents, six dollars eighty four to five dollars sixty four. So we have like fifty less than fifty cents of upside and uh, like uh, seventy uh, downside or more. Uh, so uh, now lo longer term basis. On a longer term basis, upside is seven dollars twenty five, and downside is five dollars thirty. So seven point two five, five point three. Uh, both uh, upside downside uh, ratios are below one, but uh, uh, longer term is almost in the middle, but still below one. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's go to let's go back to Ragav. Uh, A F R M. A oh, offer. A. Uh, okay, okay. I know that beast. Uh, yeah. So this month was a month of gaps. It was quite uh, market-like earnings, <laughs> which is uh, strange actually. But uh, anyway, uh, okay. Bullish and strongly bullish. Uh, uh, as always, uh, trade what you see, not not what you think. This is a note for me because. I have a very uh, complicated opinion about this company, uh, but the market the market likes it and it's awesome. So bullish trend. Uh, we have a capped upside, but it's uh, very far away. So uh, good news for bulls. So regular term range is fifty six point two and thirty six point six. So five six point two, three six point six. So as you can see. Uh, Plenty of upside, and on a longer term basis, we have uh, the same upside, with, which is fifty six point two, but downside uh, all the way to twenty three dollars, so five six, and the downside is two three. Another one from Ragav UPST. Sorry, can you repeat? UPS. T. Yeah, yeah. Upstart holding. Yeah, sorry. Uh, great. Uh, okay. Uh, even though on regular term basis oversold, but uh, looks not bad. So mm, bullish trend uh, actually turned bullish, um, I believe today because yesterday it it, uh, it um, went into a neutral area, but today it, it decided that nope, I want to go. Uh, back to bullish. Uh, so yeah, mm, thirty nine point six and thirty one point two. So three nine point six, three one point two. So it's almost there when it comes to the regular term upside, but uh, uh, longer term is uh, longer term basis is uh, way wider. So uh, top of the range is fifty two five two. And the downside is 24.5, 24.5. So as you can see, uh, longer term range is very, very wide. But um, like I said, in this scenario, I would say that uh, probabilities are almost equal. But uh, it's bullish trend. And it had, uh, e even though it had uh, some uh, correction, it, it's uh, trying to stay bullish. So, so good sign. Okay, we have five more from uh, Not Kiss. So CP, CP. Okay, CP. Canadian Pacific. Yeah. Okay. Bullish, very strong bullish trend. Uh, it will stay bullish all the way down to eighty-two point five would be the level to watch. And now it's at eighty-six point five. So yeah. Uh, okay. Um, Regular term range is 88.4 and 84.4. 88.4, 4. On a longer term basis, upside is 92, 92, and the downside is 78, 78. Uh, then we have um, QSR. QSR. Mm -hmm. Bearish. 
uh, he had a decent uh, move down then tried to to move up but uh, bearish again so yeah bearish close to being neutral but bearish and uh, today it had a, a negative day so no surprise okay uh, the ranges are 71.1 and 60 66.2 so 71.1 66.2 uh, longer term range is 75.7 and 63.4 so 75.7 63.4 uh nike nike mm -hmm. yeah he's basically asking the same ones uh at every show <laughs> good 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 uh so uh bearish uh, of course uh, is not looking as bad as it looked after earnings uh, but uh, yeah new earnings are coming in october so we'll see how it goes bearish but close to becoming neutral uh, it uh, was neutral uh, two weeks ago almost two weeks ago but uh, only for a little while a little while and turned bearish again but now it's trying to come back from bearish territory but still bearish so let's not ignore that uh ranges 81.8 uh longer term upside is 90 even so nine zero and the uh, longer term downside is 59.2 so nine zero to five nine point two and then <clears throat> the same ones um, as usual on Amsterdam Exchange, UMG and PSH. UMG. Okay. And PSH. I'll start with UMG Amsterdam. Yeah. Okay. Stock is trading at twenty three dot fifteen. Uh, Universal Music Group. Uh, yeah. Uh, bearish again. It was neutral but bearish again and today uh, he had a relatively wide candle uh, relatively to how the stock moved so yeah bearish again and ranges are 23.8 23.8 to 22.5 so 23.8 to 2.5 and uh, longer term range is 25.1 and 16.7 so 25.1 one six point seven uh psh okay psh person swear amsterdam okay because psh has a lot of tickers so yeah i found amsterdam 47.7 is the current price uh, it's basically neutral couple cents away from neutral uh, you can call it bearish but uh, but uh, after today's move it's uh, it's it's almost neutral keep that in mind and monitor tomorrow so uh, ranges 49 even to 45 even so 49 to 45 longer term ranges are 51 even to 39.6 51 to 39.6 that's it that's uh, the one that were sent to us yeah we we have like uh, 16 minutes uh to the end of a trading day so i'm sure people now need to take care of their uh, positions and and uh, finish the day yeah so, if you have uh, if you have any requests from the people listening if you have any requests regarding ranges trend i mean that's uh, that's the times next show should be next week or in two weeks uh, depending on uh, <clears throat> when we are available but uh now is the time yeah and uh, uh, next week we will do our market talk uh, after the fed uh, i'm sure it will be uh, interesting uh, now uh, before the fact uh, ignore everyone who is uh, saying that this uh, this price action you see uh, t today and yesterday and you will see tomorrow before the event uh, that if this action is because of market waiting for fed no it's not now it's the worst week to trade just because uh, of a rollover everything that's happening now is a rollover 
this morning we still had more than a million contracts to roll yes. we will see we will see how september open interest looks uh, uh, after today is over but uh, still this week is a rollover week and the uh, best thing to do during rollover week is to take a vacation yeah so uh so i hope it was useful uh recording will be available i, I believe and uh, as always uh, manage your risk and good luck everyone good luck guys i'm gonna post this video also on uh, our youtube channel and on uh, facebook we are trying to relaunch the facebook page so i'm gonna post it there as well anyway Great. um hope you guys uh, have a good uh, trading week and uh, see you next week for the market talk. Yeah, good luck, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care.